Hi, my name is Ruben Alves and today we are going to see how to share a project in ROS Development Studio. If you don't know how to get in the ROS Development Studio, you come to this website uh, called www.theconstructscene.com. If you come here on the first uh, on the home page, you just have to click here on ROS Development and then sign in or sign up. Once you sign in, you have this page. This web page contains your list of projects, your private and uh, public projects. Okay, in order to share a project, we have already here some project you could just share. In summary, you just have to come here and click share a link, for example, and you will have something like this. Link to share the project was generated. Then you have to share this with anybody and the person, the people will have access to this project. But let's create here a project to show the process since the beginning until the end and see when the users copy uh, use this link. For example, let's create here a project, let's call tutorial, tutorial is the name of our project, mm, share link tutorial, the description, let's create it. Okay, let's launch this project. Let's open it by clicking here. Yes, this is the project. If you open here, let's launch here a simulation. And let's see which robot. Okay, Husky, this robot. Let's launch the simulation. And at the same time, let's open here a web shell to run some commands. Here we have uh, the Catkin workspace, if you see here, with ls, we have, uh, let's enter this Catkin workspace, uh, source folder. Let's see here our robot. Okay, here we have the robot. Mm. Uh, if you check here, we have a com. Uh, Rostop list, Rostop list. You may have here a comedy called uh, a topic called comedy velocity. If you publish here a message, Rostop pub in this, we can move the robot. For example, let's just rotate the robot and um, 0.5. Let's say and publish two messages per second. If you check here, the robot should rotate. Yes, and it is rotating. As you can see, it is rotating. Very good. But let's suppose we want to do this using a a a script. So first, let's create here our our package with a catkin. Create a package, and the name of our package is going to be move robot. And it depends on Raspi. Okay, now we have here a folder called movie robot. Let's open our IDE to create there. Okay, mm, the catkin workspace, source folder, movie robot, and here we have the source folder. In this folder, let's create a file, mm, new file. Let's call rotate robot, rotate Python. It's a Python file. Let's open let's create here a code to rotate the robot let me change here the font size so okay it's a python file so you us are uh, being have a python okay to let's just import raspi and if you check in here the to move the robot you use the geometry twist message so from from Geometry messages message import twist. Mm, since you are going to publish a message twice per second, let's use let's go here a rate to um, two hearts and while not hospital is shut down, let's publish a message to rotate the robot. So um, uh, okay, let's create here a publisher first. Publisher equals Raspi Publisher. Let's publish on this topic. 
to move the robots in this case we have this command velocity topic so command velocity some and this velocity the message is a twist message and let's put kill size equals one so let's publish the message for example pub publish and let's create here the message message equals twist and if you check here how the twist is we can just uh, for example ros message show this message mm, we have here a field called linear and angular we just want to put the angular z so let's just uh, put here message angular z equals zero point let's put the same value we put here 0 0.5 for example okay now let's wait uh, wait sleep to publish two messages per second to respect this this rate this amount of a uh, message published per second so now if you just run this script you should be able to rotate this robot so let's see here uh, was launch if you check here the name if of our package is move robot and on the source folder we have the rotate this file needs to have uh, execution permission so cd mode x and the name of the file now if you run was run movie robot movie robot uh, robot and rotate python which this robot here on the left side let me close this log okay this robot should start rotating let's see um have colored oh uh, image node of course because i have to initialize the node before the in in python you, you have to rospy init node and let's call rotate robot the name of our node now let's see if we rotate the robot as you can see here uh, it started moving rotate yeah very nice let's just close this this uh, okay now let's change another robot and you should be able to move these other robots let's try to find a new one here uh, jacal yeah this robot is fine let's launch this robot and try to move it, this robot with using the same script you don't have to change anything because uh, yeah as you we are going to see we are probably going to have the same topic called ROS top uh, command velocity great command velocity yeah here you have let's wait until the simulation finishes loading so we can see the robot rotating okay here we have the robot let's just run the same command like ros run our package and rotate this robot should start rotating so let's see uh, yes as you can see it's working very good now let's suppose I want to share this code with with someone. Let's say, oh, I have this code is awesome. I want to share this code. So first I have to save my change. So we have to click here, save. And the name of the project is tutorial, yes. And yes, save, overwrite the previous files, the previous version of the file. Okay, project is saved. Now, how do I share this, this, pro this awesome code with someone? I just go to the list of projects by clicking on this button and here we have the project you just have to click here share a link and copy this link and share with the people this this and uh, okay let's copy this this if you check here I have a I was use I'm using Chrome to do this anyway it's Google Chrome and I have another and another I have RDS open with another account here if you check here I only have three projects but now I'm going I have copied this this link so let's suppose now I'm another using using Firefox so 
if I just copy here and ok, project cop successful copied so as you can see here I have here the tutorial the same project that uh, this user has he by just using this link I already have a copy of this project it's, it's here so let's see if it's exactly the same code so let's open here open the project open and let's see if he, the code is really there and if it is the same code so let's open here the web shell If you remember, we were on the Catkin workspace and the source folder. We have exactly the movie robot and the source folder rotate. Wow, very good. So, to see if the code is exactly the same, let's launch here a simulation. Uh, okay, Husk. Let's launch this Husk and run this code, the same code that we were running with the other user, for example. Um, okay, let's wait until the robot uh, is launched, the simulation is launched, and uh, let's move the robot, we're using the code that we just, uh, the other we use it just shared with us, <laughs> in this case, and suppose I'm a different user. Let's wait because I like to see the simulation, seeing the robot moving <laughs> not just believe that my code is working, I want to make sure it's working so let's wait until the simulation loads mm. uh, ok, ok, very good, it's loading yeah, and here we have the simulation. Now let's run the code again uh, using this user and let's see if it, the code really is the same code. So, ROS run. Yeah, I can just uh, uh, type this command directly, it's the same as executing ROS run, movie robot, and uh, rotate pi. So, let's run the code and see if the robot moves. It starts rotating. And yeah, here, it, here we have it. The robot is rotating. If you want the robot to rotate faster, you just have to change the the, the parameter angular. And yeah, if you check here another shell, we can see that our node is publishing on the command velocity topic. And uh, for example, let's wait until this web shell loads. Okay, anyway, I hope uh, guys you enjoyed the video, if you, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, you also can subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every single day. Thanks for watching.